If you wonder about the future of the country, many of us do. We need leaders, and I'm looking at them. These kids are signing up for something different. Christianity. It's a place where the Lord is honored. Hard work. I was ready for something new and something that was going to push me. Determination. Anything worth doing is never easy. Character. We were very confident uh, that they were going to instill the kind of values that we wanted to instill in our children. Persistence. The harder the work, the greater the benefits are that we receive. Patriotism. It's made me way more grateful for the freedoms we have. True grit. Our students are different here because they enjoy challenges. Deep roots. From class interactions to math problems, we want to bring God back into the school system. The mission of School of the Ozarks, just like the College of the Ozarks, is to provide the benefits of a Christian education to those students who are found worthy but might be without sufficient means to procure such an education. Our long-time vision for them is that they would be strong in the Lord, that they would be critical thinkers, and that they would be influencers in their families and in their communities. Students pay absolutely no tuition. In the tradition of School of the Ozarks and College of the Ozarks, it is a tuition-free education. We could never afford a school like this. I mean, it was, it was an extraordinary gift. I mean, we believe it was a, a gift from God. We're looking for kids with great character and a great desire to grow and learn, not just in the academics, but as young men and women. It's not necessarily that we're all the smartest ever, but it's that we are all hardworking and we strive to be the best that we can be. One of the cool things about this school is the kids don't really need to be motivated to do academics. I think it's kind of built into each one of us to you know, we need to do our best at whatever we're doing. The teachers at School of the Ozarks are all college credentialed teachers, so they could be instructors on the campus of a college or university. It's very humbling even to know them because they are passionate about this school, they are passionate about the Lord, they are passionate about teaching. Our job is to mold them and shape them in what God intends for them to be. And that's a big responsibility. We have to be in the center of God's will in order to be able to do that. The teachers, they don't just teach you, they hold you accountable in your faith and they're good Christ-like role models. We feel like the love for learning our kids have has purely been from the love the teachers have for teaching, but also the love they have for these kids. This is a family at SFO. At School of the Ozarks, our students are going to get a classical Christian education where they will walk into every classroom and they will not only receive the basic education of that specific class, but also they'll get the Bible thrown in with it. It's tough, but not because we need to say we're tough and we're hard. It's tough because this is what they're going to need, the tools they're going to need in their toolbox to make them successful. We're definitely academically challenged on a different level, but just the knowledge that this rigor, this difficulty that we have now, is just going to impact our future so much. But I think that the challenge is what makes it worth coming here because the challenge is what makes you drive for more and strive for better grades. Here, you know, if you're struggling, they want to catch it right away. They go out of their way to make sure I'm able to understand staying after school and uh, tutoring with them. I know when they leave my class, one of the things that they're going to be able to say to me, I got this, I got this, I can do this. The big thing that separates public schools from School of the Ozarks is the Christian element. It's not just a Christian school where they, they slap the name on it. They really mean business about their faith here. Instead of pushing God out of the classrooms, we're inviting Him in. One of the things that really led me to this kind of position was just really being tired of seeing students going off to college and abandoning their faith simply because they didn't understand why they believed certain things. I still believe the same things, but now I know more of why I believe them, and now I can back them up. Just with your faith, each student kind of challenges each other, kind of iron sharpens iron kind of thing, and it's just really cool to see students making other students better. Well, here at School of the Ozarks, we don't just hand out GPAs. We also hand out a work point average and a character point average. I really think that's one thing that makes the school unique. 
is they're not just wanting maybe academically smart kids, but they really want you to strive to be more like Christ. All students at School of the Oaks Arch are required to put in at least two hours of work during the week, cleaning and maintaining the classrooms in which they deal with in a daily basis. Even though we just clean our school area, it still lets us know that we have a job to do. We really want to foster that love of country in our students, so we emphasize the patriotism and what's special about the United States of America and what obligations we then have by being citizens of such a great nation. They teach history from a true and a Christian perspective to the kids, you know, so they really learn what the founders believed. The School of the Ozarks has helped me realize that the sacrifices that have been made for freedom and the godly roots that America was built on. It's our job as those that are working at the school to really make sure our kids are getting a well-rounded education. And we do that through a variety of different ways, whether that's electives with band and art and choir, or whether that's within our athletic department with volleyball and basketball, track and cross country. If we can help each other score a basket in basketball, I mean, we can also help each other, you know, get through a rough day whenever we have so much homework. We really are like, a team on the basketball court, and then we're a team whenever we're at school too. It's just another great avenue in which we can place kids in an atmosphere that reveals character and that we can refine that character. I'm so encouraged and inspired by what I see happening here. It's, it's way more than I could have ever imagined. But that's how the Lord is. It's rewarding to see high school students that really desire to work hard, that desire to walk in the way of the Lord. They're acting so disciplined, they're motivated, they're confident, um, they're excited about success. Our discussions at the dinner table have gone from basketball to what did we learn today or who did we hear speak, completely different than we'd ever seen before. I would say I guess I'm more open, more outgoing, and more like a talking to people and not being afraid that they're not going to like me for who I am and I can just be real. This year I've really matured and grown into uh, closer to the man that God wants me to be. I feel like God has prepared me for a very long time to bring me to this place to put out a group of students who are just going to make this country better for all of us in the end. We're seeing the future legislators, the future judges, the future generals of this country that will get themselves into a position of influence, have a seat at the table of influence to impact the culture for Christ. It's very satisfying to know that what I'm teaching them will impact them for the rest of their lives. I do love my students here. I love getting up every day. I've told them that, actually, that whenever you leave here, don't choose a job based on the amount of money you're gonna make, but on the lives you're gonna change. So I honestly think that this is where, this is where I'm supposed to be. We decided to come here not because we were leaving a bad situation. The schools in, in our town are incredible. We left because we thought there might be even a greater opportunity. The payoff has been enormous. To the parents that say, I don't want to risk it, I'm in a safe place, I'd say so were we. And uh, now we're even in a better place. I left behind football and baseball back in my old school, and those were really important to me because I played that my entire life. But I think it was definitely worth it coming here because, in the long run, you know, football and baseball will just pass away, but what I get here will carry on with me forever. I can't think of any better way to spend my life than to pour myself into these kids and then have them be the ones who will pour themselves into our country and into our world.